guys, welcome back again to another part of the build. As you would have seen at the end of the last video, if you did stay till the end, you'd have seen me jumping up. Uh, me drop a hint at what the next step is on the bike, and as you probably guess, it is converting this bike from dual shock to mono shock. This is part of a Yamaha XT125. I have the, everything I need to put it in. I have this bad boy, the rear swing arm for the mono shock here, and the wheel. Comes with a decent tyre. It's the disc brake on the back, whereas the original Suzuki one was drum. Both sides. It's got these blue little spoke covers on it. I quite like it, but I don't think it will match for what I have in mind for the rest of the bike. So yeah, so I have to now. fit onto that. This is where it has to sit along here. You can see him here. Now, I have tried to test fit it before and I've had to grind this down slightly, more or less just cleaned it down and it still doesn't fit. This seems to be getting in the way as well, so I might have to sort of modify it somehow but I know this is for the brake pedal I'm very shocked, I've spent a couple of attempts trying to get that in and it's always just been that little bit too tight. Don't, don't know what's changed in it to make it fit in but I'm happy. A little bit gutted as well because I was hoping to make the video me getting it in there, grinding back metal, grinding back some of the swing arm. <coughs> but no, it looks like I'm going to have to add the installation of the monoshock as well because I'm going to have to adapt that in this video as well. So this here is where I'm planning on mounting the bracket for the shock absorber because all the pipes from the frame actually connect here so this could be the strongest point of the frame which is obviously great for holding the monoshock seeing as it's got quite an important job.
and there we have it guys all set up wheel on clearance is pretty good I'm happy with it hopefully it actually works I'll sit on it now so you can see certainly clears it not 100% happy good thumbnail that <laughs> so yeah that's now all complete you saw the amount of weight it had to give from the seat and the wheel a little bit bouncy, maybe with the engine in, a bit more of the weight will be at the front. Not 100% sure. All we know is that it's loosely fitted, it does need tightening up. Um, yeah, I'm happy with that. That's another part of the bike that's gone on relatively smoothly. Um, so, yeah, thank you for watching. Um, if there's anything I've missed and you want to know about, just message me in the comment section. Please like the video. Give it a fingers up, um, subscribe if you haven't already, um, and thank you, thank you for your support in watching. Let's see where else we can go with this now. Ride safe, goodbye. <laughs>